at the beginning of the show, uh, we talked about not having enough time to fit everything we need to do into our busy days. Exactly. That often means canceling appointments, meetings, anything that we can't squeeze into our schedule. Sick, or I made other plans, or um, I just don't want to go. Really? <laughs> I'm pretty honest that way, so. Uh, health reason. Something just came up and I can't make it. Make an excuse. It's always the babysitter. You sick? How is it you make time to keep appointments with your friends? Well, I try my best, but it's practically impossible. The commuting, the every time I look for someone, everyone is busy. But I'll try my best. There's no secret formula. I use an old school handwritten calendar. Oh, usually when I make plans, I keep them. <laughs> kind of my standard. Honestly, I'm one of those guys that doesn't cancel often if I make plans. The friends that really matter, you kind of make time for no matter how busy you are. Good range Good of her. questions there. Yeah, if you're one of those people who can't seem to fit everything in, today we're going to help you manage your time a little bit better. Yeah, Callie Williams Yost is the author of Tweak It Make What Matters to You Happen Every Day. Welcome. Good to have you with us. It's great to be here. Thank yeah, you. Welcome. So it was an interesting range of responses. I think we've both had the experience where you put something on the calendar and in your heart of hearts, you know that you are never going to make that appointment. How do we start thinking about our time and ways to make what's meaningful happen every day? Well, truly, it has to be a deliberate practice. It, today, there are no clocks and walls to tell us when work ends and the rest of our life begins. We really have to be thoughtful and conscious about it. That's the first step. So when you get a meeting request that comes in and you've already planned to go to yoga, think for two seconds. You may take the meeting request, but sometimes you're going to go to yoga. Mm. And you'll begin to see that over time, you'll build more things in that matter to you. And think about scheduling. So for example, if you find yourself in a city, between meetings, um, oftentimes we just end up doing nothing because we don't have a place to do work. For example, a company called Regis that offers office space, they have drop-in places where you can go and get work done, but you have to think about that before so you, you find yourself. You yeah, exactly. think about what you're scheduling. Yeah. Exactly. It's weird. It's, I, sometimes I've gotten to the point where I'll, people will ask, can we get together for lunch, coffee, whatever? And I will, I will email people and say, we'll make the plans, but just know this might get canceled. And it's not because I'm trying to do with things keep coming up and you right. just have to be real with them so that they don't think you're flaking out. Is that a bad thing to do or is that when I should start looking at myself <laughs> and all of you because I'm blaming everybody else too. Everybody in the room that's experienced a canceled lunch the of <laughs> Seriously, I'm, I'm no, putting myself yeah, no, out there. You you're know? absolutely right. And I think one of the, the, the key points here is, as we manage our work-life fit, because there is no balance, yeah. right? Uh -huh. We're never going to get there. But we can find our work-life fit day to day and at major life transitions. There's never perfection. Mm -hmm. And so at the end of each week, when you sit down and reflect on what you did, celebrate what you got done. So maybe you didn't go to lunch with that one friend for very good reasons, but maybe you were able to spend some time with your partner that you had scheduled mm -hmm. in, or you got to the gym, or you did something else. And then the next week's a new day. So celebrate what you did. Don't beat yourself up. Yeah, should, we be, should we be saying no more? I mean, is that one way to yes. make our commitments is simply to look at the calendar? When we get that meeting right. request, when we know we have mm -hmm. yoga, say no. Well, I think it goes back to what do you have planned? What have you intentionally decided to make part of your work-life fit? And really taking the time to have a complete calendar. One of the women in the segment said, I keep an old-fashioned calendar. That's great, but you have to keep it all together. We can't run a personal calendar and to-do yeah. list and a work calendar and to-do list. It has to be all together. So again, you're making wiser, mm -hmm. clearer choices on a complete picture. For, uh, personal financial challenges. Let's say that that's your situation and you're trying to juggle a lot of things all at once. What's your, what are your tips for someone who's in that situation? Well, again, that becomes part of your tweak it work life fit practice on a weekly, monthly, quarterly basis. So monthly, you're going to look at your online accounts and pay your bills. Then quarterly, you're going to sit down and perhaps look at your investment accounts and see how they're doing. And then on, maybe on an annual basis, Basis, you're going to make a, an, a date, an appointment to look at your insurance coverage. So over time, again, it's this, it's like a big buffet work in life. And you've yeah. just, over time, that's your slotted tray, your practice every week. You're going up, you're picking what you can do each week. But over time, you've really covered everything. I like the advice you gave for getting to those dentist and doctor's appointments. I am constantly mm -hmm. canceling really? dentist appointments. Constantly. Yes. That's because you not, don't want to go. And it's not <laughs> just because I don't want to go. It's because it seems easy to do. But one of the things you suggest is, you're going to set aside one day, one vacation day, one Saturday, and this is the day for those appointments. Go to the doctor, yes. go to the dentist, get it all done. Well, you know, it's, you can do that, and people have found that to be very helpful. You just plan them all six months in advance for that one day. The other practice, which I think is interesting, is more dentists and doctors are offering after-hours 
appointments. Mm -hmm. So you have to maybe be thoughtful about your service provider and real, even hairdressers. Find the people who can really help work within your schedule. Seven, seven o'clock cavity filling. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Sounds great, doesn't it? Thank you so much. Kelly, great good stuff. You. Really good Thank stuff. You. For lots of other tips on managing your life more efficiently, pick up a copy of Tweak It. And make time to do it. We'll be right back. Don't cancel your appointment to go buy the book. Yeah. I have to be